what's up everybody all right so beautiful day today a little windy um kind of a perfect day to be fishing but we're not doing it we're working so i'm working on the boat doing a couple things out here uh forgive all the chicken noise there's gonna be quite a bit of it but what i'm going to show you guys today is what i did to better flush my motor so a lot of guys buy ears i had ears i had two different sets of ears honestly not enough water getting up to pick up in my opinion and uh john and i have talked about this multiple times on how to make it a little easier for you know if you have a bigger engine it's probably not going to work for you um the concept will work for you but this specific design won't work for you but if i'll explain later um so what i did is i wanted to make something that actually brings water in from the hose keeps it full enough to where you're pulling water all the time and it's not just stagnant water that's going to get super hot so i got the old boy the old uh, redneck special as i put it uh i use these things for everything but a uh, rubber made trash can okay this is bait tanks uh chicken feeders anything you need these things work amazing for they're super rigid so when you're getting a lot of exhaust blowback on the back of the engine uh these will move a little bit but nothing like a tub or some other plastic that you try to do this out of so uh, whole saw bits you could do this with anything. you do this with a, a boring tool you could do it with anything anything that's going to equate to the same uh outer diameter as this fitting i bought these brass three quarter inch fittings um and then i bought a female to female to go on the other end of that i'm going to try to show you that but i'm holding this camera and trying to do this at the same time so bear with me but it looks like so when connected but this was like i don't know i want to say they were both like seven dollars um and then you probably have an old trash can laying around that you could do this with but i do recommend these thicker rubber made brutes or something of that nature one of these commercial ones that you know they make them out of thicker polypropylene but anyway you're gonna make three quarter inch hole i already did that off camera let me show that here so i drilled it just big enough to fit and fits very well get you something you want it to be tighter than loose right but i mean really at the end of the day if this leaks it's not the end of the world we're not trying to make like a bait tank or something that we're going to just let water i mean we're going to have water everywhere anyway because you're going to be cleaning your boat so let me uh try to get this in there and then show you guys how i did this so got that back in you just got two rubber gaskets on either end that is more than enough to hold the water back i want to get that tight i'm gonna need two hands to do that i'll tighten that up real quick all right so we got this guy tight now this is gonna go on your hose end and then to this one all right and voila we have something that's gonna be fantastic for flushing your motor let me show you guys how this works all right so as you guys can see got just enough play behind the motor you could probably run it i haven't put it into gear yet to test that out but maybe we'll do that on video but that's what we got there's your fitting I'll bring old mr hose over here ignore the chickens Who's in here? our chickens everywhere i got more chickens than i know what to do with guys so you're going to connect this guy this isn't overly complicated for anybody i just want you guys to see how this works because this is kind of a game changer for flushing your motor. A lot of the new motors, you don't have to worry about this, but any of you two-stroke guys out there, any of you small motor guys, that's how we do business. But I'm actually filling up. Keep the top to the other side. And it does not take very long for this thing to fill up. So the other benefit to this is, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna always be pulling in cool water and then the hotter water is gonna be coming out the top, right? So it's, super simple design uh but it works really well and you won't ever have hot stagnant water in there that water stays completely cool all the time i just ran the boat for a little while but i'll get it running again and then i'll show you guys what it looks like oh. all right so i wait till she's spilling over she's all the way at the top let's run that dog son she gonna keep it she gonna keep it you're gonna keep running. Mm -hmm. 
two stroke life guys two stroke all right so here it is See what she does. Definitely changes things. What's in reverse right now? So even with even with the motor in gear, it's not uh, making anything mess up. Let, let me show you the disassemble. Super simple. See, water picks back up. Now it's overflowing again. So we're just gonna come down here. Oh, I guess I should shut the water off first. Hey, fail. Now right, you can come down here. As you can see, this isn't leaking anything at all. There's no water coming out of it. <clears throat> so your fill hole now becomes your drain hole. Just remember that when you're draining this, you got rubber gaskets in there. You don't want to lose them or else it's going to be shooting water out the side. So. And as I said, water's nice and cool, nothing to it. Very easy way to flush your motor. If you guys like this video, comment, like, subscribe. If you got any questions about this, we're gonna be running this boat a lot this year, so trying to keep the gas prices down, you know. Come on, man. All right, thanks guys. See you in the next one.